abused the source. Okay, let's go through this problem dealing with linear regression on the TI. Um, this is just taken out of a textbook that I have. Um, and it says a marketing firm wishes to find a function that relates the sales S of a product and A, the amount spent on advertising the product. The data are obtained from the past ex uh, experience. Advertising and sales are measured in thousands of dollars. Okay. So we're just going to ignore those instructions down below. Um, we're not going to really worry about that for right now. Okay. So the big thing I want to do is go through the TI. So you go to STAT. Got to turn it on. Aha. STAT. Edit. So edit's the first one. You just hit enter. And now I have some things in my list here. Um, I can go up to L1 and hit clear. Do not hit delete. That would be bad. Just hit clear. Enter. And that clears out that list. Again, go up to L2. Clear. Not delete. Clear. Enter. So now that will allow you to put in these lists. So I'll put in the list here. 20, 22, 22.5. Okay, I have a list all put in now. Um, it's always a good idea if you come down here and see how these this line here matches with that one. So that tells me I have the same number of items in this column as this column. So I didn't forget something in one or the other. Okay, so now from here, what do you do? Uh, well, if I want the linear regression line, or using the least squares, go to STAT, calculate, so arrow over to calculate, linear regression AX plus B. Now, there is another one down here, A plus BX. It's the same thing, it's just A and B swap rules. I like the AX plus B because that matches with the MX plus B, uh, as in B being the Y-intercept. So enter, hit enter again, and there you go. So I have that uh, as a linear regression. So I copied this data down because uh, I want to go to graph it now. So if I want to go to graph it, I need to go to second stat plot here above the y equals. So second y equals or second stat plot. Make sure my plot's on. My plot is on. But I could hit enter, make sure it's on. That's a scatter plot. This would connect the lines. That would make a bar graph. I want the scatter plot. L1 and L2, which matches up with what my columns were. And uh, now, go into Y equals. Clear that out. Now I'm going to type in the equation I just came up with. 2.0667x. You can always hit this variable button for your variable. Plus 292.8869. And now if I hit zoom, you can arrow down to stat. And there you have it. You have your line. Okay, so that's all the stuff on the calculator running through that process. So this gives you the line of best fit. And then this 0.9832, remember that's the correlation coefficient. Very close to 1, which means that uh, I can be very confident about this, this line in this equation. It would be a good predictor. And it also tells me the data is very linear, okay, because it's close to 1. And because it's positive, it's got a positive slope as well.